Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to solve standard form of equation of a parabola. First, let us define what is a parabola. Parabola is a set of points x and y in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line called directrix and a fixed point called focus. So as you can see in the diagram, we have two different kinds of parabola. First, let us define or let us identify the different parts of a parabola. First, as you can see, we have here the vertex. Vertex, it is the midpoint between focus and the line of directrix. Focus, it is a fixed point. It tells us where is the opening of our parabola. In directrix, it is a fixed line in a parabola. It is, the, it is a line beyond the vertex. Always remember, if our parabola opens upward, the vertex is the minimum point. If the parabola opens downward, vertex is the maximum point. And this line is what we call the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry, it cuts a parabola into two congruent parts to have an error, a mirror image. Always remember, if the parabola opens upward and downward, we are using x minus h square equals 4p times the quantity of y minus k, where vertex is h and k. And p is what we call the latus rectum. p is the distance between focus and vertex. It is the unit's distance between, fo between vertex and focus. If the parabola opens upward, the value of P or phi is greater than zero. That means P is a positive. If the parabola opens downward, P is less than zero or P is negative. Now on the other side, if the parabola opens to the right or to the left, we are using formula quantity Y minus K square equals 4P times the quantity of X minus H. If the parabola opens to the right, the value of P is greater than zero, or P is positive. If the parabola opens to the left, P is less than zero, or P is negative. So this is a vertex, and this is the focus, and this is the line of, uh, line of directrix. Vertex, it is the midpoint between focus and directrix. Focus, it tells us where is the opening of our parabola. And axis of symmetry divides the parabola into two congruent parts. And directrix, it is a fixed line. For the first example, we are going to write the standard form of equation of parabola using the given value. So as you can see, for number one, we have a vertex at 2, negative 2, positive 2, focus at 5, 2. So let us write the given. We have a vertex at 2, 2, focus, and that is 5, 2. So to write this equation, or to write the given into standard form, we are looking for vertex, that is, also, that is a given, which is h and k. And we are looking for the value of p, the distance between focus to vertex. So in order for us to write the standard form, let us plot the given value. So as you can see, we have here the x-axis and y Axis. So let us locate 2 and 2. That is positive 1, 2, 1, 2. So this is your vertex. And focus that is 5, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And positive 2. So this is our focus and this is our vertex. So as you can see in this figure, it gives us the idea that our parabola opens to the right because the focus is here. Whenever we have a focus, it tells us where's the opening of our parabola. Since the distance between focus and vertex is 1, 2, 3, that's positive 3. Because it's to the right, because we, that's why we have a positive. If it is to the left, we have a negative. Therefore, we can easily find the standard form of equation. Whenever we have a parabola opens to the right or to the left, we are using formula y minus k square equals 4p times x minus h. If it is upward or downward, we are using x minus h square equals 4p times y minus k. Okay? 
Since we have vertex and focus, that is three units, let us locate first the line of dielectrics. It's also three units from the vertex. One, two, three. So the line of dielectrics here, line of dielectrics at x at negative one. Okay, so this is the line of symmetry. Now, let us find the standard form of equation using the given value of vertex and the value of P or what we call the latus rectum. So we have Y minus, this is H and K. So the value of K is 2. Y minus 2 square equals 4. The value of P is 3. And then X minus H, that is also 2. So therefore, to simplify, let us, let us rewrite Y minus 2 square equals 12 times x minus 2 so we are using distributive property so let us write 1 y minus 2 square equals 12 times x is 12 x 12 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 24 so this is our standard form of equation of a parabola on example number 2 we have the given focus that is 3 2 dieretrix at y equals negative 2 so we are looking for the standard form of equation of a parabola using focus and dieretrics. So let us locate first or let us plot first the given value. So again, we have here x and y. So we have 3, 1, 2, 3. And we have 2, 1, 2. So this is our focus. And we have y equals negative 2 as dieretrics. That if we have y equals negative 2, that means we are looking for negative 2 in y-axis. So this is the y-axis and we are looking for negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. So this is the line of dieretrics. Since the vertex is the midpoint between focus and dieretrics, so we're going to have the midpoint that is 3, 0. So this is our vertex. So vertex here is 3, 0, h and k. Now, where is the opening of our parabola? Since this is our focus, the opening of our parabola is opens upward because we have a focus. Focus tells us where is the opening of our parabola. And if we have a parabola opens upward or downward, we are using formula y minus h square equals 4p times y minus k. So we have the given value of vertex. Let us find the value of P. P is what we call the latus rectum or the distance between focus to vertex. So it is 1, 2, 2 units. So therefore, the value of P is positive 2 because it is upward. So let us substitute the given x minus 3 square equals 4 times 2 and then y minus 0. So let us simplify, let us write y minus 3 square equals 4 times 2 is 8 times y minus 0. So let us dis simplify this expression, x minus 3 square, let us write x minus 3 square, then 8 multiplied by y is 8y, 8, 8 multiplied by 0 is z 0. So therefore, the standard form of equation is x minus 3 square equals 8 why? So this is our standard form equation of a parabola. On example number three, it is different from one example one and number two because it is vertex and dieretrix line. So again, let us write the given for number three: vertex at origin zero zero, dieretrix at x equals three. So let us locate first the vertex using a graph. So therefore. We have x and y axis, so this is our vertex. And we are looking for positive 3 in x axis. So this is positive 3, 1, 2, 3. So therefore, this is the line of dieretrix. And we are looking for focus. Since the distance between vertex and dieretrix is 1, 2, 3, 3 units, therefore, the distance between vertex to focus is also 3 units. 1, 2, 3. So Positive 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So this is our focus. Focus at negative 3, 0. The value of P, since it is opens to the left, because this is our focus, 1, 2, 3 is negative 
3. So, this is the graph of our parabola. Since we have a parabola opens to the left, we are using formula y minus k square equals 4p times x minus h. So, since our vertex is 0, 0, and the value of p is negative 3, so this is h and k. So, let us substitute directly y minus the value of k is 0 square equals 4 times negative 3 times x minus 0. So, if we have a 0 here, so we simply cancel this one. So, therefore, we have y square equals 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 times x. So, therefore, y square equals negative 12 x. So, this is our standard form of equation of a parabola. On example number 4, we have focus at 0, negative 4, directrix at 0, negative 2. So, let us plot first focus and directrix. Okay. So, this is x-axis, y-axis. As you can see, whenever we solve a conic section, it's very important to graph first to have a visualize in our problem. So, 0, negative 4, that is 0. And we are looking for negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is our focus. And directrix is 0, negative 2. Or 0, negative 2. So, this is the, our directrix, line of directrix. And this is our focus. So, to determine the vertex, um, let, vertex, it is the midpoint between directrix and focus. So, therefore, this is our vertex. Vertex at 0, negative 3. Okay, then the opening of our parabola is opens downward because this is our focus. It tells us where the opening of our parabola. Now, since the parabola opens downward, we are using the formula x minus h square equals 4p times y minus k. So, we have already the vertex that is h and k. We are looking for the value of p or the distance between focus and vertex. This is a vertex. This is our focus. It is one unit. So it is negative one. Okay. So to find the standard form, let us substitute the given x minus zero square equals four times negative one times y minus. Si since we have negative here and negative three, we have positive because negative times positive, negative times negative is positive. So we, have, we have y minus 3. So let us cancel this one. x square equals neg negative 1 multiplied by 4 is negative 4 times y plus 3. So to simplify our equation, x square equals negative 4y. Negative 4 times y is negative 4y. Negative 4 times 3 is negative well, so that our standard form is x squared equals negative 4y minus 12. So this is our standard form of equation of a parabola. If you have any suggestion or comment, just write your comments in the comment sections below. Thank you so much and God bless.